All I have to say to the person who leaked pictures of Charlie D'Amelio on social media is There's a special place in hell for you, love. Hey loves, and welcome back to my channel. If you're ready for the tea to be spilled, then you've come to the right place because there's a lot of juicy topics in today's video that involves Charlie D'Amelio getting her pictures leaked online, Addison Rae getting canceled and exposed by the entire TikTok community. And of course, we can't forget about Maddie Monroe cheating on her boyfriend with his best friend. I can't wait to get into this, so let's dive in real quick. Maddie Monroe really pulled the Uno reverse card on her boyfriend and cheated on him with his best friend? You done lost your damn man. So, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Maddie and her boyfriend Christopher, but all you need to know is that their relationship is just messed up. And don't worry, it's way more messed up than Jaden and Mad's relationship too. No, you for fake. Anyways, if you have seen my previous videos about them, you probably know how Maddie got cheated on by her boyfriend Christopher after he was caught texting another girl. And guys, this drama low-key gained a lot of attention on social media since no one really expected Christopher to cheat on Maddie because he was really in love with her. Don't cry. After months of Maddie and Christopher shading each other, they finally made up this Halloween when they posted pictures together as friends. However, Maddie was openly dating TikToker Mason Hilton at that time. What's up, guys? It's Mason Hilton. <laughs> For the most part, this wasn't really a huge deal for Christopher since he was completely fine with Maddie and Mason dating after he got asked by a paparazzi about it. I really do love Maddie. She deserves the best. I'll always love her, so. All right, how do you feel about her hanging out with Mason? I mean, she can could, she could do whatever makes her happy. I want her to be happy, so, yeah. All right, so you got any beef with Mason? Or? Uh, personally, not, not really. I mean, whatever makes Maddie happy. While everything seemed to be very healthy between the two, <laughs> it turns out that it was quite the opposite, you guys, and it's not a month after it all happened, things slowly turned upside down when both Maddie and Mason suddenly broke up. Mads even took it to the next level after she randomly posted a picture with an unknown guy on social media earlier this week. What is going on? This picture right here caused the entire internet to freak out since tons of fans started wondering who the guy was. Then Maddie reposted a picture of him on her Instagram stories and y'all, she even commented this under his post as well. Now, when it became very obvious that these two were dating, the whole situation took a huge turn when Maddie's ex-boyfriend Christopher reacted to their relationship. I know it sounds crazy, but it turned out that Mad's new boyfriend was literally Christopher's close friend. What the actual f***? Huh? Uh, this kid used to be like my brother. The fact that I helped this kid out with money and places to stay and was the reason he even went on tour in the first place basically took him under my wing and this is how you repay me? Be weird for that. Immediately after this all happened, the situation got much worse when Christopher released all his anger later on Twitter. He even threw a couple of hints that Maddie could be in huge trouble if the full story of this situation was released. That girl's my soulmate. I don't give a f what y'all say. I'm gonna marry her. It be your own friends that stab you in the back. Bro, only if y'all knew the full story, it's so f***ed. Now, of course, when Christopher was going bananas on social media, Maddie couldn't help herself and commented on the situation by saying this. I really just want to be happy, bro. And y'all, fans went insane afterwards when they saw how Maddie was sad about the situation when Christopher was the one who cheated on her in the first place. Here's how people reacted to all of it. I feel bad Chris is making her feel bad for being happy. She's allowed to be happy. Chris can't play the victim when he caused her so much pain. Like, let her be happy after what she went through. He needs to just let her be happy. He was unfaithful and now he's acting all sad. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Maddie dating Christopher's friend? Do you think Christopher is playing the victim after he cheated on her in the first place? Or is Maddie being super shady? Let me know in the comments. In all honesty, Addison Rae is getting exposed and canceled at the same time is not surprising me at all anymore. Oh, really? <sighs> That sucks. Now, before anyone jumps to conclusions, what I mean is that people just can't leave this poor girl alone. I mean, the fact that Addison became the most hated TikToker ever at the start of her career is 
really disappointing since she's known for being very unproblematic. People throw her under the bus anytime they can make it seem like she's the villain. Now, here's why this is all connected to today's topic about Addison since not a week ago, Addison was trending all over on social media with millions of people attacking her. Yeah, guys, just in case you're wondering how that happened, well, this drama actually went down real quick when the YouTuber slash streamer Dream sent his merch to Allison. When I tell you that his fan base was furious, I mean it. The minute Dream sent her his merch, Addison immediately started trending on Twitter with millions of people attacking her for associating herself with the unproblematic YouTuber. Let's be honest, she's probably doing it just for clout. If I see Addison Rae wearing Dream merch in a TikTok, I'm gonna riot. If I see a Dream and Addison Rae collab, I'm deactivating on the spot. Some of her fans are so toxic. All these unnecessary comments that people were making about Addison made Dream himself furious to the point where he called out his own fan base for making him uncomfortable. Embarrassing as hell. No one should do that crap. Makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> Anyways, now that we're mentioning YouTubers, let's talk about how Addison also got her number leaked by a YouTuber on the same day. I know it's unbelievable at this point, but the situation basically started when the YouTuber FaZe Jarvis decided to post a normal YouTube video on his channel. But just when he decided to open Addison Rae's DMs during the video, he forgot to blur her phone number that she sent to him months ago. And that's when the entire mess began, since as soon as Addison's phone number got leaked all over social social media, Bryce Hall was quick to step right in and called the YouTuber by saying this, you're an idiot. <laughs> when this happened, a lot of fans were shocked to how Bryce stood up for Addison and how he's overprotective and mature now. Here's how people reacted. Addison is going to have to change her number because no doubt people are ringing her every second. We love an overprotective and mature boyfriend. I need someone like Bryce in my life. Maybe not as a boyfriend, but someone who's willing to defend me. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Addison getting exposed and canceled at the same time. Let me know all of your thoughts about it down in the comments below. Who the hell thought it was a good idea to leak fake pictures of a 16 year old TikToker on social media? Y'all are gonna make me scream! So unfortunately, there's a lot of freaks on TikTok at the moment and no, I'm not talking about Zoe Laverne and Tony Lopez this time. Or am I? Hmm. Anyways, as we all know at this point, there are many people out there that are taking Photoshop to the next level by making inappropriate videos of TikTokers and posting them online. Dixie D'Amelio was one of the victims since an unknown also made an inappropriate video of her earlier this summer and made everyone believe it was true. Now, here we are with Charlie D'Amelio this time being the victim as well. Yeah guys, as much as I hate to say this, Charlie was also targeted by a person earlier this week when he Photoshopped a picture of her and made it very inappropriate. Appropriate. How disgusting is that? <laughs> Oh my God, what is that? It wasn't that hard to figure out that it was fake, but millions of fans still freaked out when the picture was posted all over TikTok. And y'all, it really traumatized a lot of kids. Things got even worse when the photo popped up all over social media. But luckily for Charlie, she was quick enough to address the situation on her podcast by letting her fans know that the picture that got leaked was completely fake. So I went on Twitter. I searched up my name. So I was like, what is going on? So someone took a screenshot of a TikTok of mine from I don't even know how long ago and I was wearing a swimsuit and they photoshopped my swimsuit top off and tried to like expose me with it. After this entire mess went viral, a lot of people were very upset and disgusted by how the situation wasn't taken very seriously and y'all, here's what they had to say about it. OMG, can people stop objecting girls' bodies, please? Y'all do realize that's literally CP, right? She's 16. You guys need to stop. It's definitely really weird that somebody photoshopped a photo of Charlie to make it look like an... She's a minor. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on people leaking a fake picture of Charlie? Also, let me know your thoughts on today's recap down below. I'll be reading all of the comments. I love you so much.